the meeting. Okay. <laughs> open the meeting. Uh, I'm going to open the meeting for the Commission's meeting on March 29th, 2023. It is now 5... 32. Right. We're going to skip over a few things and we'll wait until uh, to deal with the Chris, but some of this stuff we can approve. Uh, you didn't, you haven't had a chance to read the minutes, so... No, okay. Do, do I have a copy no, of this? No, we emailed them, so you should have had them in your email. Do you want me to go grab them so you can... Um, we can wait a minute if you want. I want to take a look at them. And or we can continue on. Oh, actually, well, the minutes are from February 21st, so you weren't, you weren't around that time. I wasn't around I'll get you a live copy. Well, I'd like to see what happened there. Yes, yeah, sure. yeah. 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 I don't think we're in a hurry, Tom. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> we can hold off and wait. That's good. I kind of went through the financials a little bit, and that was kind of interesting, trying to get my head around it again. It's uh, uh Don, Don Marion is joining okay. via Zoom, so you can just explain. You got a participant by Zoom? Yes. Great. We can go ahead with the payroll manifest, where she's getting you that if you want. Don, are you there? Can you hear me? If you want to make a motion. Yeah, you can turn your mic on. Entertain a motion to approve the payroll manifest. And what about this guy? Oh, have you been in to sign them yet? No. Don, can you unmute? Okay. Uh, right in front of you. Okay, so if you want to look through them. Okay, so. So I I guess we'll just hold after steady here until Tom gets us out. After a meeting, I'll do a lot of the next day or two. <laughs> sure. And, um, well, let's continue. And then once we can have agree on what's in the minutes, then we send them out to you folks for he, approval that way. And then you approve it in the next meeting. He is watching. Well, Don, Don is there, I believe. Um, just, Don, if you can hear me, just understand, Chris is tied up at a doctor's appointment. So, um, and... The person who was supposed to make the presentation is also ill. So we're just going to go through the perfunctory stuff and wait for Chris to arrive. He's got his mic turned off, so he's talking to us. He's got his video turned off, so there's no way yep. he sees right. how cool. <laughs> <laughs> he may have gone to get a drink. Right. He's smart. <laughs> Do you have a question? Yeah, you could probably unmute him. You can't. When I do it, it says I have to ask, ask him to unmute. So it's okay. Yeah, click it. Yeah, I'll just ask him to unmute. Sometimes you have the authority to unmute or mute people. No, I can. It's interesting. I can mute him, but I can't yeah. unmute him. You have to ask him. Once you mute him, they have to, they have to turn himself back up. Acceptage still coming in at the same rate it has been. Which one? It's been a little slower. We're talking about the yeah. Where they go with it? Is it a slower time of year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's the um, street section. Uh, last year overall we were higher than basically from the common um, up this way. 2021 and 2022, but lower than 2020. So 2020 kind of peaked it's out. Getting and right kind of flattening off now. Today, start some, um, but it's still. Uh, Still in this up, uh, up over so four fifty. Right the 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 yeah, the yeah, that's where you dump the duck line where they dump all that. The duck the line supplies are yeah. down at the treatment plant. Oh, the duck, oh, there's First there's store the store. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, so, so that's, that project's that's moving. ramping up. Maybe someone should give Tom like a little update as yeah, to that's what I was where say. we're at yeah. with the Once project. Once he's sure, yeah. done the minutes, yeah. we can walk yeah, kind okay. of walk through. Give him a Reader's Digest version of all the balls we have in the air. All 32. All the minutes are all 32. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I should know. No, 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 that's fine. <clears throat> One question is: You were talking. You had somebody talk about uh, if you wanted to do a water line replacement on the people, and they didn't have the money that you could finance it for them and put it on their charge. Is that the case? We, we can't finance it for them. What we can do is make the improvement and then recapture it. Same difference. Same okay. difference. <laughs> but but it, it's the language. Yes, uh, that's true. And so, what are the limitations on that? What about if we have to do the sewer pipe too? Uh, we we would probably wouldn't, but it would de it would depend on the circumstances of, that, that the individual has. But we could do the same. We could cause it to be we could cause it to be replaced, and then s spread the recapture over a period of three to five years. Okay. And that wouldn't apply to the suicide? It could. It could. Okay, that's all I want. It, dep it depends, because we're not replacing all okay. of the sewer. In a lot of places, all we're doing is lining the sewer line. Yeah. Jason can explain the, that. The, yeah, the, the sewer, too, has an option of trenchless technology where they don't actually have to dig it up unless it's completely so failed. Push a flexible rubber. Right, either another, another pipe inside the old one or they could send a liner down, which is what we're doing on some of our pipes. What's the difference between a pipe and a liner? Uh, they actually have um, a high density plastic pipe that can actually burst PVC. Okay. So they could pull that through, or they could send down a PVC liner inside the old pipe. Which is just a Which is just a, like a bag, but it's cured in place. So they blow it up once they get it in the pipe and it cures in place with an epoxy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So it doesn't, wow. doesn't actually break the old pipe. Oh, yeah. that's, that's great. Yeah. That's beautiful. So that's what we're doing on uh, some of our clay pipe in Main Street so that we don't have to dig, dig the sewer up as well. Oh, they're digging it up so that... Uh, yeah, that's good. Another question I had was, you know, I was really impressed with Mel's old spreadsheet that you did of your projects and the, uh, you know, the years of them. I'm sure you're aware of that with all your pictures you passed out. Remember that? From the, is, has that been from the hearing? updated at all? Yes. Yes. Several times over yes. there. Oh, it has? Oh, oh yeah. great. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So we, we, we'll, we well, can get you. You know, my name's spelled right here. Yay. So, <laughs> uh, that's great. That's because you spelled that. it right when you signed up. <laughs> I, know. I don't know how that happened. I trip on it a little bit. I know. I don't blame it. It's a tough one. Okay. So these so, are, this is checks. Yes. So these first three are AP checks that have gone out in the last week or two. Okay. And this last one is this past two weeks payroll. Oh, I see. Yeah. And so these here, the pay to, it looks like these pay it to the water fund and pay it to the sewer fund. Yeah, that's just your, this water. You just, that's where you're allocating it to, yeah. right? Yeah, and then if you go to the next page, it'll tell you who we paid are. and how much. Oh, I see. Okay. So the process what we've been following is that once Heidi and I are done with these items, we put them out on the counter, and if commissioners stop in throughout the week, they can sign them, but we officially vote to enter them into the record at okay. these meetings. Good, yeah. okay. But so that checks can go out and such, we, we do have you folks sign them if you're around. Yep. So, okay. So it's all right, go and talk with her, catch up a little bit on some of this oh, stuff? Absolutely, yeah, please. Okay. My dog. We're, no, we're not going to any flyers here tonight unless this place is burning. Okay. <laughs> at least I don't think we are. <laughs> So that's that's a little retirement fund that oh, a couple oh, employees okay. contribute to, so a separate check goes to them. 
And that's probably the big, you know, whatever invoices we had over the two weeks we got to pay for two weeks. Yeah. Lots of ones to look at there. Now, Bob, do you sign off on these? Yeah. He does, yeah. You do? Yeah. So this has all been... Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, he's the one that goes to jail. That's right, I'm the one that goes to jail, not you. That's right. But I'm busy guy. <laughs> 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 he brings in the cake in the file. Do the Tenny Mountain pump station, is that still a problem and you have to keep up with the chemicals? Because originally that was so over designed, or actually the, the demand didn't show up. And that put so much chemicals in there to keep it from. Yeah, we, we no longer add chemicals to that station. You don't, so it has a really good flow. And the, yep, the flow's picked pretty, up over the it, years. It's still. It pretty troublous pump station? Or what? Is it a good pump station? They're getting to be 30 years old now, so yeah, I know. Yeah. we've had some issues over the years mechanically, but okay. no, uh, okay. no issues with the actual uh, chemical makeup of the wastewater out there. Okay. We, Tom, we just got a grant to do a sewer master plan, so those each of those will be evaluated in the next year or so. To do two, uh, to do a sewer master plan. Oh, a sewer master plan. And we oh. just got a, a part of the federal ARPA funding program. Jason applied, and so we get we got a grant, um, but just recently awarded. So the, the, we expect the work will start uh, in the not too distant. Yeah. yeah, sometime this year. So the thing with Mel that you did is more or less just a uh, a capital improvement campaign. It's not a master plan like that. No, no it, it depends on what you're referencing. We did a a project plan yeah. for the immediate short term, and then we looked at. Um, Back then, we were looking at maybe five years out, which is probably coming to fruition now. Sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 23 was the last year. And, uh, yeah. You've been long, long enough, you know all these suppliers and everything, they're all routine. You see my names on them. Well, I know. Well, I my signs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have multiple levels of internal review at the staff level, too. So. Yeah. 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 It's a little different than when you were on here last time, Tom. I know, I know. I'm a looking forward bit. to that. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Well, well, you, you'll, you'll get all of the purchase orders. Sure. It'll come through to you on your computer. Yeah. Yeah, you should have already gotten one. Uh, yes, I did. Jason already sent me one. Yeah. Oh, good. So you were able to log in? Uh, no, I didn't go home and try that out. He just sent over my old email and came through. I just gave it. Okay. Right, the great PO. But there is, uh, there is I, one when I, you get a chance to. I have got that now. Get in that. That's so you don't have to commit as often, Tom. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if they want to get Yeah. They'll be out on the shelf, so if you yeah. need to stop by and look them over in better detail. Okay. And that's 329. Huh? 329. Okay. Can you scare that to me? Can I wait Okay. I got you guys. Listen, I got you for another few minutes here. So, are you <laughs> making a motion to accept the minutes? Sure, uh, I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. I'd say second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? It's the old moderator in me. Keep things moving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, I'd accept the motion to accept the payroll manifest. I'd make a motion to accept the payroll manifest. I'd second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're going to skip over reorganization. We're going to skip over David Fox because he's ill. Just we wish him, wait, wait, wait. Can we you wish just, him well. Can we just talk about this David Fox a little bit, this rate in financial analysis? 
Can you just ahead. talk to that? I mean, sure. what, are we, what are we going on now? When was the last rate study we had? Uh, I don't know when you had the last study. The last rate increase was 2019. Yeah, that was a big increase. Was that based on a rate study, or was it based uh, on that? Be, was it based it on that? Be, that was before me. I don't know whether it came sure. or Jason. I mean, it was looked at like with the projects coming up, or right. what had to what had to increase, but there wasn't a full blown rate study done. Okay. Yeah. So, and but that cost you, you like have about a hundred thousand dollars a year you're saving on that, the whole thing, or, plus your debt. I see that it looked like you had about it's a five percent. Two to three hundred thousand, right? Is that the? Um, I'm sorry. Oh, that's because you got these reserve accounts. Well, because we're the debt is going to hit, and so we're kind of like yeah, you got to need your, the debt your that's coming online. Right, right. right, right. So, okay, we, so we, that that wasn't a rate study that, that no, generated that. No, and, and, so, and this you know, this again is part of a grant that we received from DES with sure. ARPA money. Yeah. And this is a this is a national firm that focuses on primarily water public utilities. Good. Yeah. And so what they've done is come in and they've gathered a bunch of information with regard to operating budgets, current debt the grant loan packages that we have now that are will be under construction within the next couple of weeks and extend out probably over the next 24 months or so and then and look at what will it take to cover that debt service cover operating expenses and leave enough reserves so that we're not operating hand to mouth okay and so the purpose of tonight's visit, if he had been, okay. if he had been healthy, whatever sure. his problem is, yeah. he would have. One of the things he wanted to do was get input from each of you. Yeah. We've looked at various models. We started analyzing this back two years ago, almost three years ago. Now. Three years ago. Um, and we've looked at a number of different models in terms of how to how to redistribute the burden. We've looked at a number of things in terms of of the costs associated, as an example, with fire service, the, the oh. college, the... the Five-story buildings. If, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the sprinkler buildings place a yeah. higher demand on the size of piping, on the amount of storage, on the, sure. pre the pumps that we need. And so that's part of the analysis is to look at that. Another piece is looking at the value of the buildings being protected on the fire service and so oh, okay and so whether that there, there are some places around the country that use that as part of the factor trying so to get a piece of their savings on their health their, their liability their building insurance or what that's about I, it I, I don't know. I don't think it's I don't know enough to know whether they actually tie it into oh, sure. oh, sorry. to that oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. you know other other than to yeah. say that it's that it's that's, I've never heard of that before right judging by the and value of the building, but it makes sense like that. And uh, wow, so okay, well, that sounds pretty exciting. Yeah, well, the study's pretty well done. Oh, it is. Yes. And did you guys did you guys verbalize some waiting that you'd like to see? What what you know? That's, well, we really haven't that. been in a position to implement it or really sit down and talk about it very much. It's just been. Fairly well completed. So they, so there is a uh, Excel sheet out there that has these projects coming online and getting completed, us dispersing the cash, and then yes. starting the amortization of the interest payments. Yeah, we've, we've done a we've done a debt service schedule. Oh great! Build out looking to. 2053. Oh my God. Okay. So we've got 2053. Yeah. That's. I won't be around then. So, so, so we've, we've done those pro uh, projections. Tonight's meeting with David was intended to be getting that input from the, the board, saying, "Look, you can you can you can go this way, you can go that way. What do you think? How would you think about doing it?" And yeah. then he'll go back and factor it in, and. You know, provide us with some recommendations. Um, unfortunately, no, that's fine. Uh, actually, just he was out. he was supposed to be last week when when you and Chris both Is, called him. So that you that he has he given you any um, any 
numbers so far, or he pass outs, he hasn't given you anything. He's just coming in and saying, well, what do you think the waiting on this should be? You know, from the mobile home to the high-rise building, where is this uh, uh, portion uh, uh, of it? Well, I, I think what he's looking for is input on, on those kinds of things. He's working from work that we've been doing over the last couple of years. So he isn't starting from scratch. Okay. So we've done, you know, we've given him, for instance, we've got kind of a five-year window of consumption. Yeah. And so we've provided them with that information. We've provided them with the, with the cost estimates associated with each and, one, each and every one of the projects and what that debt service will look like. And we've, we've trend-lined it cost of, of operation. So he's got some idea there. And then, you know, the challenge always is, is the capital improvement plan. Yeah. Is, you know, it's like the pump stations, is yeah. that they're 30 years old. Yeah. And so the, the, the pipe, I mean, you, you develop an amortization schedule or a life expectancy, and so, you know, you pick a number. And yeah. uh, so the engineers will use a more conservative number in terms of how long will the pump, how long will the motor last, pipe, you know, arguably it's 50 years, I think, is what they use for sure. depreciation schedule. But we've got pipe in the ground that's close to 100 years old. So, you know, this, it's, it's a kind of a combination of, of engineering projections and good luck. Um, I just, the, this is the first I didn't, I did see it, the rate schedule last week, of course, when the guy postponed, and I thought it was kind of like, you know, the beginning, and, but there's, so there's no, he hasn't produced any documents for you or Not anything, yet. Not yet. it's only he's been all into You're catching the beginning of it, how's that? Huh? The beginning of the end. Yeah, beginning, of the <laughs> beginning of the end. Yeah. Not the, so, if it's the beginning all over again, we're in trouble. We have done this thing. It's been going on now for three and a half years, three years, all garnering all the information. We've had Ray Pierce that's worked on putting a, a bunch of spreadsheets together for us. He's looking at them now. He's going to come up and give us some suggestions. He's going to ask us some more questions. Hopefully this will be the end of it, and we'll be able to start to implement it. We're going to have to get some new software to implement it, but that's what our intent is. Anyway. We budgeted for it. For it. You, 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 why do you need so, new software to implement it? Because it won't, it won't handle the schedule the way it's set. Right. When we do things at different values for different buildings, it won't handle it. Right. It's an older software now. Everything was kind of level, you know. In other words, everybody was charged the same pretty much. Yeah. Now it's going to be different because we'll yeah. be able to use that different structures, different buildings require different things, different groupings of people or, or uh, residents or, or businesses and so on and so require different things. Jason, they used to, uh, uh, you know, utilities used to encourage big users. Is that the way that's going to be in the future? No, huh? No, we don't, we don't encourage big use, in fact, we, sure. we encourage conservation. <laughs> We're actually required to. Yeah, as part of our new wells over in Holderness, we're required to create a conservation plan. Um, so looking at that, they want to make sure that we're not just expanding without finding if we have leaks or things like that. So we have undergone a water audit in the past year to... I <laughs> see, you kind of want to, uh, like, a million to about 15 million gallons gone. <laughs> Is that, is that about average for the uh, district? Or for a right, for versus pump versus unmetered versus metered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're sewer versus yeah. the water, I guess. Yeah, so there's a lot of, um, a lot of the unmetered usage is like hydrant flushing and sure. authorized usage that okay. doesn't pass through a meter. So to say that's all leaks, it wouldn't be accurate. It yeah. isn't that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was wondering. I'm sure all systems leak, and what would be, right. you know, ten percent of fires we have, right? Yeah, other things. Yeah, uh, that's right. Well, we don't want to be charging for that. Oh, it's just great, guys. Really appreciate this. That's uh, kind of was nothing else really impressive. It was pretty interesting. The cash flow is just huge. Just great, man. But it then, looks good now, but it's going to go quickly. Going to change the projects making those payments. Yeah, once those projects hit, the gas flow is 
that cash that you see there is going to disappear yes. rather quickly. Did you guys, did you, did you tell these guys about gradualism? I mean, that was a problem I had with that last rate increase they had. It wasn't, it was a cliff. And they yeah, I, I, I can't speak to that because I wasn't here for that. I know yeah, that. Well, what are you telling them now? Uh, about uh, rating, about rating. I know we're, we're talking about building kind of incremental steps, small incremental steps over time, okay. as opposed to yeah, ten way. year big jumps. But yeah, and but so the, I mean, we're we're part, part and of it. Does does do? But the construction projects are so costed. We we've got enough. I mean, we did an analysis before we accepted the projects. Our initial analysis was that we had sufficient cash flow now to cover the debt service that will that will be added to the books over the next two to three years. So these oh. projects are covered. Oh really? Yes. The problem the problem is dealing with the cash reserves, for lack of a better description, okay. going forward. Is so. Well, you mean you're gonna you that would that would deplete your reserves more yes. and more each year. That's right. So you wouldn't have much so fun. We, we I mean, year. goal number one is to be cash positive. Goal number two is to create sufficient reserves so sure. that if we have an emergency, we're covered. And then goal number three is gradually building reserves to replace the Sorry. pump station. Yeah. Uh, the next pump station, the yeah. motor that you know it's it's. Yeah. You know, we, we've got emergency replacement, but we also have planned replacement. So we know that, as an example, there are there are pumps that are going to have to be replaced five sure. or six years from now. So get kind of three levels. One is to break even operationally, at least. Two is to cover, make sure we cover our debt. Three is to have sufficient emergency reserves, and then four is to be building against a plan, a capital improvement plan building reserves or building capacity to fund those things when we get there so we're not borrowing money consistently. We don't want to we don't want to be in a position where we have to borrow money every time we have a problem. In that purchase order, Jason, you said it was you said that that included that seemed like that seemed like a pretty good price per yard or ton, whatever it was, to take such a high grade Scrapers. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the going price nowadays. Is about I mean, ninety six. They just a ton. Can bury that stuff and let it compost. Yep, they bring it to a landfill. Yeah. They bring. Oh, they bring it to a closed landfill. It's sealed and everything. Right. They probably bulk it up with some construction debris and and uh -oh. landfill it. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. And then the compost. How's that going with it? Is that? That's still being land applied. We're working yeah, with. Uh, we're on our last year of our contract with RMI. Uh, yeah. That'll be possibly. Um, uh, new proposal in June to be oh, re well, renewed. Yeah. And you expecting that to kind of uh, didn't some of his farmers back out? Or? Right. We're expecting an increase on that because of the okay. the um, lack of available sites to to recycle it. Yeah. Um, That's because of emerging cool. contaminants and things like that. So. Well, I remember when we mixed it all up right in the sheds down there. <laughs> they brought it to sawdust every week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the plant smelled so much, but it did. Times have changed, okay. Yeah. Well, that's one of the one of the goals for the rate study too is to reorganize or restructure our base rate and our variable rate so that they're more closely aligned with our expenses. Um, so obviously now. And what's your variable rate? So it's the volume rate. So that how much we charge per thousand gallons. Yeah. Um, so right now we're at twelve ninety seven per thousand for water, yeah. fifteen sixty four for sewer, um, and we're at sixty two fifty for water on the base rate and one hundred twelve fifty on the base rate for for sewer. Oh. So right now we're capturing about uh, my estimate is about eighty percent of the revenue in the volume side of things, which is you know. Um, uh, it's recommended that the volume side align more closely with the variable costs, whereas now we're going to be, you know, moving some of our costs into the debt side, which are fixed costs. Okay. So we need to make sure that we're capturing the fixed revenue as well to align more closely with with our expenses. Oh, oh great. Okay. You know all that stuff. Are, are you, you satisfied now? <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm pretty much full. Yeah, I'm pretty much full. You're going to need to spend some time sitting down talking with Jason. You're going to need to spend some time sitting down talking with Jason. You're going to need to spend some time sitting down talking with Jason. You're going to need to spend some time sitting down talking with Jason. Because, I mean, obviously, there's a lot to catch up on. Yeah, well, but I think you you've got a pretty good overview of where we're headed. Pretty, there's yeah. a lot there's a lot of uh, it's a projects in the works and stuff like that, and we've tried yeah. to prepare the best we could for it. I think well, I'll tell you, if you guys didn't do projects, it'd be you'd be replaced by AI and a machine. <laughs> you know? I mean, you got the credit card running your things all the time, and what else is there to say? You know, somebody write checks. Well, no, anyhow. well, if you want to move on, we can move on. Sure. To uh, uh, let's see, delay fund balance transfers to capital reserve. I think that goes into Dawn's week. <coughs> yeah, we, we uh, back in December, you recall, we did a com kind of a comprehensive update on our status. And the, the board, we recommended and the board embraced the idea of, of taking a, a million dollars from the water reserves and a million dollars from sewer reserves and putting them in to designated capital reserves. The motion was to do it immediately following the annual meeting. And we're recommending that you defer that until the projects are complete. Because at this point, rural development, which is the biggest funder of our projects, we can't draw down their money until the project is complete, which means we're going to have to borrow interim financing. And it doesn't make sense to borrow money at 4.5% because we put our money into reserves at 2.5% interest. So okay. my, our recommendation... So you can basically finance yourself on that? Uh, well, up, up to a point. Uh, uh, yes. Point. I mean, point. Actually, point. Kim and I were on, the, on a call today with Union Bank, who's our primary. We've got $9.1 in interim financing with them. Who's your bank? Uh, Union Bank. Yeah. Oh, Union Bank. That's who we're doing the interim that, financing. They were interim yeah. financing yeah. Like two yeah. years ago, three yeah. years ago. Yeah. About three years ago now, we went out right. to bid. And okay. they came in low bid at like 1.1, 1.2%. Okay. We ain't going to get that again anytime soon. No. <clears throat> so in any event, after kind of doing it, we're, we're in the middle of it, doing a cash flow analysis for the next 12 months. Yeah. And part of what we're recommending is that we hold off on and leave that one, that $2 million in the bank account, for lack of a better description, so yeah. we can use it to fund the construction We'll, we'll get the money back I see. once the loan is processed with, with rural development. I see. So you just moved it from a, 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 a more of a fixed position than your current? Yeah, we're just kind of leaving it in the reserve. In the, in the, in the, in the reserve. Okay. In the, so it's in Merritt Village, we're leaving it there, not putting it into the trust. Oh, you're not going to put it into that? Right. That way it can be expended for bills. Yeah. Oh, 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 so we can oh, use it. To, oh, we can use it to pay for construction costs, right. and then yeah. when the permanent we'll financing is put in place, then we'll move the money into capital reserves. So yes. the Monday updates I send the email. You got okay. Them, right. Yeah. It tells you like the bank. Balance. I saw that balance. So yeah. the money market has that big amount of money. Yeah. Like four or five million dollars in yes. the money market. Million. So we want to leave that there. As to five million, rather okay. than to take two million out and put it in capital reserves at this point. Well, okay, take two million out and put it in capital reserve. You mean the capital reserve? You're going to disperse the funds for the projects? No, no, no you it can't. was designated to go to these two, two different okay. these two funds. Yeah. And so, right now we want to leave it in there in case we need it for the current projects, rather oh. than something future oh. that those oh. are for. Oh, okay. So we wouldn't be able to suck it back out because, it, because once it's in, once it's in, it's, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's in. there right. you go. Right. There you go. That pretty, you know, that works. I see. Well, that makes sense. Well, that's just wonderful, and it's just great to see that you got such reserves to be able to do that. It's like very good. So I would entertain a motion to delay that fund balance transfer to the capital reserves. Yep, yeah, I'll make that motion. I'd second it. Oh, uh, aye. Aye. <laughs> okay. 
Administration items. Okay. Business manager, I guess, or is it Dawn again? Administration's Dawn. No, yeah, but I don't have anything. No. Nana, zip. No. Uh, well, we're we're in the starting blocks to begin the race on the projects, for lack of a better description. Um, we have uh, everything. Everything is close to being the I's dotted and the T's crossed. Um, the construction company, Renice, wants to be working on sewer lines next Monday, mm. which is we're a little bit, it's a little bit aggressive. Um, mm. But it's better than the better, last tender. Yeah, yeah. It's better than the last time in terms of the, the lagging. And so we've got a lot, of, a lot of I's to dot and T's to cross in the short run. Um, we've gotten assurance on Russell Street that it looks like we're going to be able to negotiate a change order with our contract so we can do Russell Street water and sewer at the same time the town is rebuilding Russell Street. Yes. Which is, uh, um, from, a, from my perspective, was a major goal for us. It just made so much sense to do it that it way. It saved the town a million dollars. I know. I know. <laughs> and so um, we're, we're close to having the, the details worked out on that. I mean, some of our challenges are largely regulatory challenges. Our funding is coming from rural development. The t town's funding is coming from the Economic Development Administration. And you would think that the rules are the same for all federal programs. That would be a wrong thought. <laughs> and so we're trying to get all of our I's dotted and T's crossed to make sure that we don't run afoul of the other's rules and regulations. But the town's been very cooperative. I've uh, been working, and I can call with Scott this morning to talk about you know how do we get this sequenced. He's agreed he's going to be meeting with every single business on Main Street. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be providing with him with the information. He, Who's Scott? Uh, Scott Weezy. Scott Weezy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so we're, he and I are kind of teaming. He's going to be the face of this, and I'm going to try to help coordinate more with the coordination behind the scenes between the engineers getting the construction done. And so you know, just based upon his experience versus mine, and, and so he's comfortable with that. Um, so we had our first meeting last was Thursday, to Wednesday, Thursday morning mm -hmm. with the whole with the whole group, and so. Right now, we've not encountered any impediments. It's just a question of getting everything in place. We're still waiting for some approvals from DES. Uh, Becca's waiting for feedback from somebody. Oh, on um, uh, DOT. We're on DOT. No. Okay. It's, we've got this is part of this is DOT's road. So there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of cooks in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and so we're trying to keep all of that. A lot of permits have to be secured. Jason, you already had made the meetings with all the downtown folks, right? Uh, that Several. You already gave them some idea about what's going to happen. Oh, yeah, there. yeah. But they're, they're, you know, they're, they they need to know specifics. Yeah. Um, like, how many parking spaces are they going to take up when they go in there to do the insert? The, the goal is to not take any parking spaces up. Um, so Why would you do that? <laughs> they're uh, looking to do one side of the road versus the other, so there may be alternating traffic throughout the day. Oh, I see. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. And then they're only going to potentially work on a section at a time. Oh. So as as the schedule gets uh, firmed up, we'll know exactly how far they can make it in a day and what section they'll be working on. Sure. For the lining portion, uh, which would be the first step of the project um, it's going to be really from manhole to manhole yeah uh, so in main street manholes are on the west side of the road okay and there are a few parking spaces there so maybe up to four or five parking spaces at a time would be impacted sure yeah and you now you, that that old pipe you start pushing that line you don't know when you're going to have to bring in the excavator and 
No, the, the liner is pretty much like a, a plastic bag. Yeah, you said it was like a balloon. But so they, they, roll, they roll the plastic bag in there and then they add air to it and the air expands it and pushes it along. And uh, at that time, they're going to be bypassing the sewer from. Yeah, this is your body down the, the scope. We've got the movies down. Like, yeah, the they shop. just did the they just did the movies this week and oh. the cleaning. So. Oh. Yeah. Great. Ready to roll. Sure sounds like it. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, they plan on meeting also at least once a week or once every couple of weeks with Ron week? and Scott, and uh, you know, look, evaluating what's happened. What they can do better, right. what worked well, and so on and so forth. So you 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 go see Scott once in a while. You're, oh, I, you're talking about I get around. Yes. <laughs> okay. I guess that's the best way to put it. No, yeah. I talked to Scott just. I guess it was this last week. Yeah. And we had a nice conversation. He explained what the town is planning on doing. This is a project. We're not only doing this Main Street project, but we're also doing Russell Street and so on. And we're working in conjunction with the town to try and save this town some money. Yeah, I mean, let's face it, it comes out of the same pocket. It does. <clears throat> and so if we can save the town money, then that's what we'd like to do and, and get the job done. That's, that's good. I, and only, I hope the relationship Reduce the pain. And only yes. they got Main Street that's, once, not twice. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> they seem to speak well to you down there, Don. I mean, that's, uh, that's, that's I've got them fooled. They've been talking. <laughs> they feel like somebody's talking with them. I don't okay. know. You know, that's about all you can do. Is try to keep talking. <laughs> God knows. Move town district issues. Okay. Tough. Moving right along. Business manager. Quarterly billing. So each of you should have a yes. spreadsheet with them for the billing. Two year comparison, and then of course we just have the one quarter so far this year, but it is up, so that's good news. We only got one quarter, yep. Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is it, right? And, and so, did, so this guy, this uh, uh, rate analysis, analysis there, they're going to look into also projecting your. Uh, yeah. Yep, and they, they have um, sure. five years back for that spreadsheet. And so oh, they do? Yep, yep, as part of the packet that we sent to them in December. So he has a lot of the background information. He also has a full um, couple years of our billing, like right straight out of the software. So we compare, like, you know, different. Should be actual. Yeah. Uh -huh. wow. Yep. Or different classifications with it. Yeah, so what well, I was saying, right. the, 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 in two years, it's gone from three nineteen to four. You're up, you're up a hundred thousand on a three, three million, three three hundred thousand dollar income. You get, that's like up thirty percent in two years. Huh? Don't don't get too focused on the on the quarters right. themselves. Look at the look at the, the annual. Yeah. The quarters hop all over them. So yeah. Yeah. We've not been able to figure out some. <laughs> I think it's some of it's weather dependent. Yep. Okay. <laughs> but you'll if you if you look if you run across looking at each quarter, you'll come away scratching your head. I spent a lot of time back figuring what the hell is going on here. Yeah. And, and the only thing I can figure out is it's you know it's weather dependent vacations. The pandemic sure kept people at home. We thought we would see a huge drop. Yeah when the pandemic hit, but students went away, but people stayed home. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, one How's the receivables? We got a lot of receivables? No. Oh, they're down to... No. Kim takes good care of that. Yeah. Stay we don't. That's not a big issue. No, no. Not anymore. Not. There was a time when it was, but yeah. we stay on top of Great. Yep. Hmm. yep. And so, linked to that is a manifest that needs to be signed to make it legal that I can bill all of these folks. So as I said, Tom, we're in good shape for the shape of room. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's the same as the sheet. Yeah. That's, that's the closing totals that come out of the software, and then I convert it to this spreadsheet so you see the breakdown. Okay, so um, we're signing this just to acknowledge that these are the figures that we're going to That allows so. me to go forward and bill. Oh, I see. Send those oh, okay. Yep. It's your warrant, right? That's my warrant. Yeah, it's yep. authorizing her to bill it. Yep. And and this bill now is pretty much just buying straight thousands, more or less. 
basically just there's, there's it's that not element that Jason one, talked not, about, and then and then the per thousand. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same formula we've been using. Forever. Forever. Nothing has changed yet. Yet. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> there will. Okay. Leave that for Chris. Yep. The next item is the MS-232 report, which is basically the report that goes to DRA after annual meeting to tell them that all of our warrants went through, our budget passed, and so you folks need to sign that as well. So. Yeah, they did, but there wasn't much turnout at that meeting. Nine <laughs> people voted on it. Yeah. Nine years. <laughs> yes. I was, I was, you only wanted one of them getting a check out of that thing. Everybody voted in favor of it, too. Well, that's good. That's good. Hey, I got 94% or something like that. I could say I got a mandate, but I know better than that. Even you voted for it, Tom. <laughs> you were yes, one I of the did. voters here. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Basically, it's the, the same numbers that were in the budget in the town report sure. that you just verifying that that is what happened and it happens too. Very good. I don't think we need a motion for any of this, do we? I don't think you do. I just need signatures on Just needed the signatures? Yep. Okay. There's that one. Okay, I guess we're done there. How about the superintendent's report? Sure. So uh, we've been working with um, Plymouth State University and Holderness School on uh, the annual uh, collection system management and maintenance report. Uh, so that's uh, coming up here at the end of the week. We'll be submitting that. Uh, and that includes all of our collection system for sewer maintenance activities throughout the year. So. We work with Plymouth State and Holderness School because they're actually a private collection system uh, that discharges into the di district's public system. So we Plymouth were, State's a private collection system? On the Holderness side. Oh, okay. Yep. Sure. Yeah. So everything coming over from Holderness is yeah. a private system. Yeah. Uh, so we're putting that together and that'll be off this week. Um, we have uh, received a review back from DES on Plymouth State's uh, sewer force main uh, repair. Uh, so they had a failure in the sewer force main that goes underneath the river, underneath the PEMI, um, you know, the six inch force main within a 10 inch sleeve. So there's a pump down in front of the field house, right? Yes. And that's yep. where the forage main goes from that, goes underneath. Yep. Wow. So, so their so inner pipe that? ruptured, but it's still being captured and contained by the outer pipe and it's still discharging to our sewer. Oh. Uh, so they're working with uh, DES right now on a, a way to repair that. Their initial proposal was to pull the old six inch out, which ruptured, and then just use the actual uh, sleeve as the new pipe after oh. inspection. Um, DES is pushing back on that. We haven't, we've also not recommended that approach um, and we're going to be working with them to find a resolution to so install a new pipe four in inch there. Inch ductile, and then what's it got? Uh, it's a, eight inch a six inch plastic inside a ten inch plastic sleeve. Oh. Yeah. So DES is concerned about if they just use the ten inch, yeah. they may not get the appropriate velocity Velocity's through there, and the solids will settle out and oh. cause further maintenance issues. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're working with Do you them. maintain a pump station farm? No, they maintain it. Who does? The college does? The college does. I believe they contract out um, to another vendor to do okay. pump maintenance. Pumps, and all. Out, pumps out the station and cleans it up. Yep. And yep. Uh, so that's in progress. Uh, we talked about Green Mountain Pipe. Uh, they did some camera work and cleaning this week of all the sewer lines on Main Street and Green Street that are going to be relined and will be um, are proposing to come in and actually do the lining next week. So uh, my understanding is that they've already distributed uh, notices to businesses that will be impacted 
there'll be a period of time where they may not be able to flush or use water uh, when the lining is coming through their section. Uh, so if they have any questions, please reach out to the district or and or Green Mountain Pipe um, will be on site uh, following up on the day of the, the actual work. How long a period would that be, Jason, between when they put the lining in uh, that to put it in? It would be manhole to manhole, so about a 300-foot section. Okay. So it may affect um, up to uh, three or four businesses at a time. So how long a period of time? Uh, for about, a, I believe, a six-hour window okay. in order for it to cure. How do you fish that off in the mantle? They, Does that have a skirt you put on it for the no, mantle? No, just, just the, the pipe. Uh, it would just cover the pipe section coming into the manhole. Yeah. The actual manholes, it wouldn't go through the manholes. So the actual um, invert of the manhole, the u base yeah. bottom and the table, We'll all get a different treatment later on. We're going to be skim coating that with new concrete. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. So that's, in, uh, that's moving ahead. Um, we have met with uh, Tenney Mountain, uh, their new owners up there, and discussed the sewer infrastructure on the mountain in regards to the proposed uh, base lodge renovations and expansion. Uh, so they have um, uh, worked also with their engineers to uh, determine exactly what they have up there. I think that's part of the, the overall goal is for them to be aware of what they have for infrastructure and what condition it's in. Um, we have noted some of the facilities are in disrepair at this time. Uh, so hopefully working with them to They to improve a that. that takes care of itself. Do they sub that all out? To pumping out the manhole? They do contract cleaning. their collection systems out. They do. I'm not sure exactly the organization up there at this point in time. Yes, I uh, mean, are they, that's what I was wondering, are they all one sewer system? I mean, are they, do they, do you think that they have different? Multiple associations, my understanding is up there. Uh, so we have, who we bill as the Tenney Mountain Association, uh, is, yep. is our, our customer. Yeah. Um, but there's several others up there that um, some are connected, some are not connected, some are on private sewer still. Oh, really? And um, the, the new uh, owner that came in for Tenney Mountain is also involved in um, you know, their own organization. So I think that's the ultimate goal is to get everyone straightened out up there and, and understand who, who does what, who's responsible, um, and hopefully they all work together to to improve that system as the renovations and expansion goes. Like what's the up there? I can't keep up with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I can't keep up with them. So that that will be uh, that will keep you posted on on that uh, sure. issue. Um, so you just give them one bill. Yes. Currently. And Correct. the associations all work that out, or how's that work? Their problems. <laughs> we know that. They just uh, We've also uh, discussed with DES uh, this week the Holderness Well Project review. Uh, they're still reviewing the 90% uh, plans right now. Uh, they have a few few more. Um, What's that mean, 90% plans? 90% design. So oh. it's uh, just a, a point at which they, uh, the engineer will distribute and ask for review oh, and comments back, yeah. So we've sent ours in, uh, they have our comments, the engineer. Jason, this is just yeah. literally the well design? I mean, it's a... Yeah, know. it's actually the, the well, the, the pumps, the electric associated with it, okay. the controls, and actually the transmission pipe as well that gets it back okay. to Plymouth. Yeah. So it's just going to be a big one like the pump over here? It's going to look like that up on a... You know, um, it, it'll be a much smaller building than we have yeah. at Foster Street. The only building we'll actually have will be uh, housing electric equipment up yeah. on Route 175 near the Elks Lodge. Oh, that. Yep. Yep. Okay. That'll be so the out, out of the floodplain. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll. Bring so you'll just have a couple wires coming down to the pump. Yes. I yep. see. And then the pumps themselves, that was one of the discussions this week with DES, is actually 
the flood elevations within that within the well casing area yeah. are calling for the well casings to be extended about 14 feet high above grade um, because of the yeah. historic level. Yes, they're supposed to have those pipes sticking out of the ground, don't they? So that's you see those 10 foot? They used to have them, you just had to have them like four or five feet. Now, you mean 10 feet, you drive around? So you now they want to have a 14 feet up over. So that's that's what the, the flood maps recommend yeah. uh, based on those calculations, but uh, they're actually potentially looking at lowering those to be a more reasonable height. Okay. Uh, and does that we, mean that you you got to elevate your pump like that? Or no, it would just be a standpipe, and yeah. the actual the pump will be a submersible, just like a home oh, okay. home pump, uh, yeah. someone on a private well, but obviously a much larger one. Okay. Um, but from a maintenance perspective, a 14-foot standpipe is very difficult to, sure. to work with. Uh, so we're hope, hoping that we can come down to a more reasonable height, um, and they're reviewing that right now. And um, you know, that's, that's one of the, the goals there for that. Great. So hopefully we'll wrap, they'll get that, their comments back to Wright Pierce and we can wrap up and be at 100% design and ready to go out to bid uh, within the next uh, month or two. Wow. Uh, we're also working with DES on the lead service line replacement uh, funding. Uh, we've submitted an application for um, funding to replace lead service lines as we come across them during the, the projects. Okay. And that'll take care of uh, the, both the public side and the private side of the line. Oh. Uh, we haven't gotten a final um, a loan or grant document yet from them that'll determine exactly what we'll be seeing for uh, uh, principal forgiveness is what they call it on a, on a loan. Oh. Um, but the it sounds favorable in our discussions with them that it'll be fairly high principal forgiveness so there wouldn't be a lot of um, impact potentially for for uh, us or the homeowners. Okay, okay. Yeah. so and physically, now you're not, you're not going to be able to just sleeve the water line. You got to pull that up and put a new water line in there. Right, right. The, the services will get will get a, likely a new, new so service. Yeah. If they, if you see this guy's got a lead service, you knock on the door and tell them we got to get you off and then you pull it through? or. Yep, we'll, we'll work with the homeowner as we identify it. So as part of our project now, we'll be going from the main to the shutoff, yeah. usually at the property line. Oh, the so that'll be, that'll be replaced under the project. If when they get to the curb stop and they see it's lead after that, that's when we would contact the homeowner and yeah. request you know, essentially permission or tell them that we're going to have to replace the line because it, it's lead. But you're going to take care of everything. Yeah, that's, that's the goal is to use our contractor, uh, yeah. do the work, get the lead out, um, and everyone will be uh, you know, in, in uh, compliance and, and not violating. So that's one of the future, uh, future regulations. So that's one of the future regulations is the, yeah. the state and EPA are actually going to require us to do that, but we're hoping to get out in front of it now while we're doing the projects. You think you got an idea of a percentage on that? Um, it's pretty small. I mean, it's pretty small on the private side of things. It's mostly actually on the, the public side is the higher likelihood that we'll come across lead. So on the old 100-year-old pipes, they had a what they called a lead gooseneck that was the connection from the, the main to the service. And we're unsure exactly how many are still Connected. Uh, we've come across a lot over the years. We have removed quite a few. But Is that just for surge protection? Is that they, why they put that back? To yeah, when they, when they tapped the pipe, they came off the top of the pipe. Yeah. And they, instead of trying to make a 90, they came across with like a sweep yeah. instead. Yeah. And the lead was flexible enough to do that. A lot of those, yeah. I know. So we're, uh, we're, we're hoping that funding comes through and that's. Like I said, pretty favorable at this point in time. DES is working with us, um, you know, on that, and we'll align it with our projects. Um, we've also uh, recently uh, done has worked with our lawyers on a memorandum of understanding uh, with Holderness School to ensure that um, easements are taken care of over there. So we have 
um, you know, coming making the transmission lines across their property, um, part of that will entail future easements. So in order to um, get the project going and bring it to fruition, we, we're going to enter into an MOU with the intent to later on secure the easements based on the as-built plans, exactly where the things are built at, where the transmission line lands, uh, versus trying to write easements on where it's proposed to be. Oh, okay. So you don't have an easement now, you just have a general agreement with them? We have a lease agreement currently. And that's it, but we're leasing, we're paying them every year, right? Uh, not currently. But we're not no. paying them? Not yet. Great. And they've been really nice to work with them. Sure. Yes, yep, yeah. absolutely. Um, so that pretty much wraps my report up. Very good. Appreciate it. Which is the thing, I haven't heard anything yet, so we're going to go all over that. I have a few questions that are explained and stuff that I just okay. didn't know about at all, so it was really good. All right. okay. We didn't fall we down to the purchase direction. <laughs> I, came, I came in just in time. Yes, you did. I'm wonderful. And then back up to reorganization. Yes. Oh, yes, we Yes, right, of course. Of course. Well, since I guess I am still chair. You are. <laughs> I guess we need a motion here to uh, enter into the record the, the previously approved purchase. I make that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Yep. Very good. Um, is there any public, looks like we're up to uh, public comment. Good one person. Oh. Yes. Mr. Mary, I have a quick question. Can you hear me okay? Yes, yes. Can. yes, we can. Okay. Question is regarding the uh, residential bills. Uh, I believe they're quarterly and there's two line items. One is for the meter uh, and the other is something called usage. And I'm assuming that usage is more of a generic term. Of course, it includes usage, but it also probably um, it probably also includes uh, reserves, capital improvement, uh, line items, things of that nature. Am I right on that, or not, not understanding? May, well, I don't know the exact billing for your address. It's going to vary depending on... He's sewer only. Sewer only. Charge because we measured from his well. Right. We metered his well water. Right, so that usage is a flat rate then based on the fact that... We are not metering your water since we no, don't know. we are. We have a meter. Oh, we do? We okay. do have a meter. So okay. he gets a flat the flat rate that for up to 5,000 gallons. Right. And then the per thousand for any usage above. Okay. But I think his question is more deeper than that, maybe, as to how those rates are set, maybe? So no, not so much how the rates are set. Well, in a way, yes. But what I'm asking is if I get a, a usage bill of just a usage tally of $142, just as an example. Um, that's not representative of 100% usage, I, I think. I think it's also representative of contributions to capital reserves uh, and any other types of uh, programs that you have that you need money for in future years. Well, we, we, we set a rate periodically and, and based on on our budget and our needs right. and, and and our capital plan. So, if that answers the question, so sim simplistically, yeah. Uh, in order to arrive at, at the flow rate, we take it take your total budget or some portion of the budget and divide it by the number of gallons, for lack of a better description. So it's it's a, a cost per unit, and the unit includes. The actual cost of pumping the water, the cost of the electricity to pump the water, all of our operating expenses, which would include debt service, it would include creating capital reserves. Right. So I, I, I think that's what you're asking, is what makes up that portion of the bill? That's correct, John. That, that, that's the answer. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. That's all I have. Okay, very good. Uh, without any further public comment, we'll go back up to um, reorganization of the board. So I've been chair now for...
two years? Yes, right. two years. And I guess I get the feeling for the... I'm, I'm willing to continue as chair. I don't know, Paul, if you have any interest in assuming that role, then... You, you've been chair for the last two years? I believe it has been the past two years, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just come out here. <laughs> Are you interested? In that? Uh, I really, uh, I kind of up in the air about it. I think the two years is a pretty good stamp. If you've got the time, I have no issue. But uh, I suppose at some point I should assume the chair. So if somebody wants to make a motion, um, I'll make a motion. Yep, you can nominate Paul. That's. It's up to you. Yeah, it's a no, new time I, for me. Yeah, new yeah. time, you know. And yeah, you're you're just stepping onto the board. Yeah, even you that's did right. Before, no, I don't. Yeah. That, that's not. I don't want that. You guys, I just want to see how you guys are doing this. That yeah. goes on. So. <laughs> <laughs> You won't believe the magic we do. He's got a good handle on it now, believe me. <laughs> Need a second? Okay. Yeah, my second. Oh, no. Well, yeah, you are second. I, I, I will. Yeah, I'll second. second. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'll stay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I will. All in favor? All in favor. I will. Aye. Yes. I don't have to say anything. Yeah. You've got to say it. Yeah. Okay, so there's two eyes. Yes. So the next meeting, I'll be chair. Yeah. Okay. You don't get a ballot? We no, have one. We, have we have do one. have one if he wants it. I opened it up pretty well with it. Your chair, right? <laughs> okay. I guess we're right about here. Yeah, we got to public comment, yes. Yeah. So um, looks like at this point we need to go into non-public session um, pursuant to 91-A3 colon uh, 2A for personnel matters. I guess we roll call vote here, actually. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Chris Woods. Hi, Paul Sanchez. Hi, Tom Buffer. 